Uh, in the last hour, football legend, the GOAT himself, Tom Brady says he is retiring. He says it's for real and for good this time. I uh, won't be long-winded. I think you only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So I uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me, my family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. And Brady goes on to say he's lived his dream. He has no regrets. He ends his career with seven Super Bowl titles, three MVP titles, and just about every career passing record imaginable. Before his retirement, uh, he was set to enter this offseason as a free agent. And John Booty is joining me right now. He played for the New York Jets, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just to name a few yes. in his NFL career. Thank you so much for being with yeah. us. I know you're co-founder of Metaverse Sports Group as well. So, so tell yeah. me, it would be hard to imagine this is another fake out, right? Well, this one's going to be hard to, to imagine that because he's uh, at the beach this morning, right? I'm at the, he's at the beach giving an emotional uh, retirement speech brief retirement speech and uh, getting emotional with it. So I think this is a real one this time. And, and you think about his career. I mean, really, there has not been anyone like him in 23 years of playing, unless you think there's somebody who's comparable. I mean, five-time Super Bowl MVP, three-time NFL MVP, the most passing touchdowns, the most passing yards ever, the most wins in NFL history. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm jealous just hearing that. <laughs> Hurts my heart. I didn't even get one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so to get all of that, he lived a dream. Believe you me, he, everybody, Dan Marino and other quarterbacks like Warren Moon would love to be in that position, have at least one ring. And he has seven uh, with two different teams. Well, yeah, two different teams, and all those MVPs and and uh, he, uh, everybody loves Tom Brady. It's, a lot of people hate him. Uh, a lot of his competitors, are New York Jets, I know my team up in New York didn't like him, but. Um, He's a, a, he a heck of a football player, hell of a football player. I'm sorry about my language. And um, and everybody is, the, he's the GOAT, you know. Why uh, was he not like, be was it because he was so good and people were envious or was there something else? Uh, he was a total package. He had to look, you know, uh, people didn't like that look. Uh, he's, uh, he was confident and he believed in himself and he was a winner. And guys like, wow, we want to beat this guy. We can't beat him. You know, I know it's a team effort. But he is the captain of that team, of the teams that he uh, won Super Bowls with. Absolutely. You know, is the announcement just a teeny bit anticlimactic only because he announced his retirement initially a year ago and then came back, had a lackluster season, and then all of the marital drama that was in the news? Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously he's the well, GOAT, but isn't this a little bit like, okay? Well, He's still Tom Brady, and everybody's still going to cover it. You know, it's uh, it's going to get a lot of airplay, going to get a lot of airtime about him. Tom Brady finally giving it up, and still people put that question mark. But well, the summer's going to roll around, and he's going to miss it. Will he retire again and come back and play? You know, so we don't know. But I do know this: he uh, he's uh, going to go in the broadcast booth. I know that he has that already ready for him. But um, he just want to be calm, cool, and collected about how he's going to retire this time. But again, that question mark is still out there. I just want to know what it takes to, in your mind to have such an illustrious career and to stick with it with really very little scandal. I mean, he didn't have too much uh, out there besides the deflate gate. We know that. But besides that, yeah. he really has had a pretty uh, squeaky clean career, and that's wonderful. <laughs> He has a pretty squeaky clean career, hasn't he? That's from that uh, deflate gate. That's the only thing that we can uh, can see. But uh, for him to play all these years and all those Super Bowls and do things uh, on the football field and, and stay clean and, and now to give it up, uh, not give it up, but to re retire from it, that's all he's known to do, to be yeah. a football player, to be a quarterback. And that transition, it's going to be, it's, believe you me, it's going to be tough on him because he's not going to, you're never going to find that competitive, the things to get your competitive juices flowing. Right. And for him, he's been doing it forever. And so to find something, even going in broadcasting, it's not going to be that uh, uh, that, that competitive fire. It won't, that you won't see the same, you won't have the same adrenaline uh, flow as you right. do on the field. That's right. for sure. John Booty, thank you so right. much for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate you. We have thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.